The new Tesla Model 3 Performance Highland, it's been spotted. I, I know you guys have probably already seen it. There's been a few sightings of it, but it's been spotted in an interesting image. It looks like it could be production ready. It's got new seats that apparently are very different to the current Tesla Model 3 Performance seats. I reckon we're going to see and hear about the production details, as in the performance, the power. I think we're going to hear about it within the next one or two weeks. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. I've got to say, I am pretty keen to know what is going on with the Model 3 performance. How much power does it have? What are the details? I mean, we already know the Model 3 Highland is a great car. It's got some fantastic upgrades. There's some real big changes. I listed over 50 changes in a video I made on the channel. Uh, people don't realize the Model 3 Highland is almost a completely different car to the previous Model 3. They call it an upgrade, and up, you know, an updated refresh. But I've never seen a refresh in my life from any other car manufacturer ever in history where you know more than 60% of the car has been changed. The Model 3 Performance, the Highland version, could see a similarly massive amount of changes in comparison to the old Model 3 performance. I believe I've heard from Tesla's engineering team that they want to make this vehicle much better than the existing Model 3 performance. So the question is, if you're in a, in a country where you can buy, say, a BYD seal performance, do you buy one of those or do you wait for this? Well, you could be waiting a little while, I believe, because, I mean, you know, you can't buy them yet at all. And when they are released, Model 3 Highland demand is pretty high, so it could take a while to actually get your order once you've placed it. A recent sighting of a partially camouflaged upgraded Tesla Model 3 performance has confirmed that the upcoming electric sedan will have dedicated sports seats that are designed for high intensity driving, says Tesla Rati. Tesla's other seats, the Model 3 performance's sports seats, they look, honestly, I'm not into white seats at all. I mean, I've got kids. I'm sure I'd mark them up personally. I'm not the cleanest person ever. So I'm not a huge fan of white seats, but I do like the idea of having bucket seats, you know, more sporty seats to hold you in when you're driving. As long as I don't feel like I'm, you know, cramped up like this, because you can be like that. Uh, my brother had a Ford Fiesta ST and a Ford Focus ST. And I felt like the Recaro seats kind of made me bunch up a little bit. But this is, you know, this is a primarily American vehicle. I'm going to guess the bucket sports seats won't be that tight because usually American vehicles don't have seats that are, you know, too tight hugging, but who knows? The upgraded Model 3 Performance seats were spotted during a recent sighting of the vehicle. And the car in question was an engineering vehicle reportedly spotted in Santa Monica in California, and it had only a light tint on its window, so you can see right through to the seats. Immediately noticeable from the images of the vehicle was the fact that its two front seats were very different from the seats on the Model 3 today including the seats in the Model 3 Performance. Similar to renders of Tesla's sports seats that were shared by Green the only last October, and of course, patent images as well, the seats in the recently cited Model 3 Performance engineering vehicle looked like dedicated bucket racing seats. That has been one of the criticisms of Tesla's performance vehicles. They have a lot of power and the Model X Plaid uh, some reviewers have said the seats just don't hug you tight enough. There's the same amount of performance, the same amount of speed, but it feels like you slide around a little bit. So Tesla's obviously taken that feedback on board and put in some clearly different seats. You can clearly see that they look quite different to Tesla's existing seats. In fact, to me, they look a little bit like Recaro bucket seats. Probably aren't, but they could be. In my opinion, guys, this, this vehicle really does look production ready. It doesn't look like there's much work left to do, especially considering it's driving around with the seats you're going to be able to buy. With Tesla equipping sports seats for the upcoming Model 3 performance, it seems safe to assume, says Tesla Rider, that similar seats would be rolled out to Tesla's other high-performance vehicles, maybe Model S at Plaid, maybe Model X Plaid, possibly Model Y performance as well. Could that happen? I don't know. But if it's an option, I think it's a good idea from Tesla. There's a lot of excitement around the Model 3 Highland. A lot of people think that it's going to have a significant power bump. It's going to be very, very fast, maybe scary fast, maybe for someone like me who gets car sick, you know, throw up fast, possibly. Who knows? Guys, I am kind of excited, but to be honest, I get excited about a lot of different electric cars. So, hey, maybe that's just me. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Bye-bye.